Here's how to publish your book on iTunes Connect, the Apple ebook publishing platform. First, we go to pages, and hopefully, you've got your document already made out there how they would want it. I'm not going to go into that today. All I'm going to do is show how to publish, but I will recommend two quick things that save time. One is that you have the title exactly how you want it, so you can press rename and do it here. That really helps save time if you have to keep reloading it or making adjustments to the draft. The second thing is go to settings here and author name. Make sure you've put the author name that you want. That will also save time and irritation because it's very likely that you will have to load it more than once. And if you upload it more than once, then you have to fill in this information more than once if it's not already populated here. The next thing we will do is go to publish to Apple, press next. And now we're going to sign in. Now the uploading process can take a while, so just bear with it. The next screen will ask you if it's a new book, first submission, or it's an update to a previously submitted book to Apple iTunes. If it's a new book to the Apple platform itself, then you select that and next. You may need to give it some time also to process at this stage. On the next screen, select reflowable. You'll never need fixed layout or if you ever do it'll be apparent in the draft stage where you will get preview and then you can come back just check the information and change it to fixed layout but I've never ever heard of anyone using that nor myself. Cover, select the cover and you could have already had it as the first page of your document but if not you can select an image and I have an image here. They only accept JPEG or PNG. Other formats, it will try and convert them. This is probably the least reliable part of this process because sometimes it seems to accept covers and other times you have to just re reload the same one. Here, we're going to check that the title is correct. As I say, it's best to get it all correct there beforehand so you don't need to type. Then we're going to check the author and we're going to add an editor. So just touch plus and it's already got author here so I'm going to change that to editor edited by and then first name and last name you can also add other authors just by pressing plus and you can change them to primary or not the description at least 50 characters have that prepared beforehand. Just copy and paste that in. It's important to keep that in a document separately because you don't want to have to keep entering that if you have to come back after you've got the draft submitted and you don't like the preview. If you have to come back, you'll have to do all of this again. So I'm going to copy and paste from what I've got. I'm just copying and pasting from the paper book description. Connect. Paste it in. An Apple subject category, I don't really like to use that for the books that we publish because it's a very narrow, limited selection of categories. What I do is go to the top subject category because that has a lot more detail in the categories. I'm going to choose biography for this and then it's going to be choose the next and it's going to be criminals and outlaws for me here. Then we go below, you can see interest in age years and everything, book language, English. There is only one English on the Apple system. There isn't US or any other kind of English. Publisher name, I've got that on a keyboard shortcut. Uh, I have a video on setting up those shortcuts if you want to check that out. It saves so much time. And ISBN not needed unless you specifically got one for your electronic Apple book version then you should put nothing there leave all the settings as they are i'm not interested in pre-order dramatics i just want to publish and have done so i'll go to next something's not gone right surprise surprise it's the photo processing is very unreliable and you can load the same file i've got two different ones they'll sometimes work and sometimes not that's worked straight away and that will then give us the option to preview the book. Something went wrong, and I'm not going to edit this out of the video because it's happening quite often in this app. So I'm going to press OK and preview book again. Doesn't work, go back, and now you've got to press next. And it's the photo, it doesn't like the photo now. 
So we're going to use the same photo from the start, press next, press preview book, then select books to preview the book, just like any user would see the finished product. Flip through the pages. If you're happy with that, then I would suggest swiping up to get back to pages, however you prefer to get back to pages. Select upload in the top right hand corner. That will then start to load the book, give it a little bit of time. And you're nearly there. All that remains is to go to iTunes Connect website using the link there or directly. Once you arrive on the page, log in and select the My Books icon. What usually happens is your book does not appear on this page and it may take some minutes for it to appear. Come back after a few minutes if you can't see your book. Once it's there, select it by touching on it and then you'll be taken to the detail screen. To press pricing in the top right corner, select top left, add new countries, regions. If you wish to protect your book against piracy and copying, apply DRM. If you want to build some kind of dramatic release of your book, you can select a pre-order start date and a future release date. I just want to publish as soon as possible, so I'm going to select the release date as today. Then select your preferred currency to work in. It's neither here nor there, it's just something that you can relate to. Here, select the type of release. Physical list pricing is arbitrary apart from the fact that it dictates what price Apple will then dictate to you. You will find that Unless you put a high price in there, Apple won't allow you to put a medium price on Apple Books. If you put a low price, Apple will dictate a very low price to you. Then select the countries that you can and want to publish in. You can either start by selecting all if you've got very few that you don't want to publish in, or just manually tick a few that you want to publish in. Then press continue in the bottom right. On this page, you're able to confirm the prices that Apple has set for you and adjust them within the range that Apple has set for you. If the price options given are too restrictive, you can go back and then increase your book price, then go back to this page again. If you're still not sure how to work the pricing system to get the price that you want to sell the book at, please see my separate video on this topic. It's linked below the video. You can see what options for prices Apple gives you by touching on the price tier in the far right hand column. From there you can select which price you want to use. Once you've finished, go to the bottom of the screen and select confirm. On the next page you can review your rights and pricing, then done and on to the book summary page. Now's a great time to fill in the tax details of the book by pressing set up tax information in the top right corner. On the tax information page, press edit in choose subcategory indicates if your book does not have an ISBN, ISN or ECN, or if it has. After selecting, you can select the attributes that best describe your book. This is so the correct tax can be applied to the book because different tax rules apply to certain materials such as educational and those listed there. In my case, and most probably in yours too, none of the exceptions will apply. So we select none and we touch save. Now press done to take you back to the book summary page. You'll see that the book is waiting to be reviewed by Apple. As soon as it's reviewed, they will send you an email confirming that it's been published or to the contrary.